Hello. Uh, we'll do something very interesting today. We'll we'll actually program a command line uh, software, a command line program, which will run and um, welcome uh, some person, something like that. Uh, we will uh, we'll write this in JavaScript. Um, so it requires uh, one to have a node available as a uh, program in their computer. So I think um, if you are running Ubuntu, uh, you can install it with uh, uh, sudo apt install node.js or something like that. Uh, I am not really sure if that is the actual, okay so yes that is the actual thing but uh, the thing to remember is that uh, I have not installed it from uh, the official repositories. Anyhow, I won't cover how to install Node in this. What we will look at is the programming itself, um, uh, how JavaScript works and how does it get executed and things like that. So this is like more like a, a beginner level thing. Uh, it's for people who have never programmed before. So uh, if you already know how programs work and all that, you might find this uh, very boring. So with that uh, let's uh, let's start uh, uh, seeing how it works so this is a directory i am in a directory called tech together and i am seeing list files in it uh, there is nothing in it so i'll just create a file called uh, um, greeter.javas.js so now we can see there is a file called greeter.js in this uh, folder. So actually if, if, I, uh, if I go to this folder in my computer, um, mm, src localhost tech together, you can just see that this greeter.js has been uh, created just now. Uh, it's 0 bytes created on 21 June 1041. So, that that's uh, that's just being created. I'm uh, I'm just demonstrating that it's just a file that I've just created. Now uh, I'm going to open this file. Uh, I'm going to use a text editor called Vim uh, to open the file. So so now uh, this file has been opened in Vim. Of course, uh, one could also do it in a different. Uh, Mm, editor so for example I'm just gonna open the same file in the systems default text editor so uh, that's a uh, that's also perfectly possible but uh, I'm just gonna do it in BIM uh, now um, <coughs> so what we're gonna do is first we will um, print something we need to print something on the screen that's the first thing we have to do right um, so how, how do you print something in JavaScript there is something called um, console so we want to print to the console uh, so this entire uh, command prompt is called a console in some terminologies so if you want to print something to the console you can you can um, do something called console.log and then whatever message we want to print so let's say this command should print something on the screen now I'm gonna save this file and uh, run greeter you can see that it has printed something on the screen so that's the simplest uh, uh, way of uh, printing something on the screen now uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function so um, the let's let's uh, or let's let's do one thing let's first print something else also to the screen mm, this is a second line okay I'm saving it and running it you can see this time it ran a uh, first command and then the second command so we know that what's happening is uh, the computer is first running the first line and then running the second line so uh, that's how a program gets executed in JavaScript 
now um, now we're gonna make this a bit interesting what we'll do is um, we will um, so imagine we want to run this uh, entire thing twice okay so console.log so this command should print something on the screen this is the second line we need to print the entire thing twice or uh, for for that matter let's make this something like um, I am going to be a good programmer and I want to print this line um, twice so of course I could do copy paste that and uh, um, run it uh, twice once again so I could do that but um, the problem now is um, if I have to change this message say I want to make this I am going to be a great programmer now I have to come back here and change it again I'm going to be a great programmer right so I if I if I had done this uh, if I had done this for uh, 10 lines uh, which would print it 10 times um, and I had to change this grade to good I would have to go back and do this uh, 10 times or uh, there are text editor features which allow me to replace all grade with good and um, search and replace but um, there is a better way to oh, let me see why is this okay. there is a better way to uh, do this and uh, that is called abstraction or uh, making it into a function so I am just gonna delete uh, the rest of the lines now this thing what we will do is we will make this a function or what that means is you can say constant print message is, it, is a function which takes uh, no parameters and calls uh, and prints something on the screen so um, uh, this this may be a, a kind of uh, confusing or uh, there, there may be many new terms here what is constant what is print message why is it an equal sign there why is a function but I'll just assume that uh, uh, we'll pick it along the way so now now let me try running this uh, node greater you can see that it actually didn't print anything so what's happened here is we have defined a function called print message which when executed will print console and print to the console I'm going to be a good programmer so this is just the definition of the function we are just telling computer okay computer uh, print message is a function which will take no parameter and then print this to the screen but we haven't told the computer to run that function yet so the way we tell the computer to run that function is we call that function I mean if we if we if we, if we type print message it will uh, it will not uh, run the function as such so we have to print message and then these parentheses so this will um, we will understand what these parentheses do later but uh, for now let's just uh, think that okay this uh, print message with parenthesis actually runs this function and let's see how that works uh, um, see when I run uh, greater.js now it's actually running that function and uh, um, giving us the output so that's how it is mm, now now what we are going to do is if you want to print this message twice now of course you can do this or four times uh, node creator it's printed four times 
uh, if you want to change the message we just have to change it once node greater now this is the uh, this is the biggest um, kind of uh, concept in programming which is called abstraction and uh, abstraction helps you not repeat yourself do not repeat yourself they call it a dry principle in programming but essentially by creating functions we are abstracting we, we are saying um, whenever I say print message this is what you have to do and then you are saying the computer print message print message print message print message so all you do is uh, the computer will uh, go through this first line first and then say okay whenever I, whenever I say print message I have to do this and then it goes to this line and then say okay you are saying print message okay I will print that message and then again a print message okay I'll print that print message okay I'll print I'll go and print message so that's what uh, uh, this uh, this do not repeat yourself for abstraction allows one to do now let's make this a bit more interesting now let's say we want to do something like um, greeting someone so I want to say um, when I greet someone uh, or welcome someone so when I'm welcoming someone what I want to do is uh, I want to first uh, um, greet them um, and then I want to print a message uh, print a welcome message okay so now I have to define what greet and print welcome message are so what, what I'm gonna do is con so I've told computer when I when I whenever I'm saying welcome you greet and then you print welcome message now I have to tell computer how to greet right so this is uh, I'm telling the computer okay when you when, I, when you want to greet someone you just say console the log hello there and uh, I'm gonna say cons print welcome message is a function again and uh, what it says is welcome to this program okay so I'm just gonna save this and uh, run this but uh, what do you think will happen when I'm running this program uh, what what will happen uh, when I'm running this program just post this video and think about it um, um, will uh, will the computer print hello there welcome to this program or will the computer print hello there welcome to this program I'm going to be a great programmer or uh, what will it do um, I'm gonna give you a second here to pause the video and think about it okay now I'm actually going to run it uh, it did nothing right now uh, can you think about why it didn't do anything if you said if you guessed that okay it's because we have told the computer how to welcome we have told the computer how to greet we have told the computer how to print welcome message and how to print message but we didn't tell the computer to do any of this then you are absolutely right we have to tell the computer to do something right uh, so now we're gonna tell okay at the end do welcome so this uh, this line is going to tell the computer to do welcome right now again uh, I'll ask you another question I'll pause here and uh, I mean let you pause here and answer this what will this print now Okay, I'm gonna run this. Uh, you can see it ran the first two. It ran the welcome, and what welcome is is greet and print welcome. So it'll greet and it'll print welcome message. So that's uh, that's how it works. So essentially, this uh, this particular function is no longer required in our program. So we'll just delete the, that one. Um, so that's uh, that's a simple program 
now what we're going to do is we're going to use parameters so imagine uh, we don't like to be called hello there we, we we love to be called by our name right so imagine in this greet uh, function we could uh, print instead of just there uh, instead of the same hello there for everyone we could uh, print someone's name hello akshay hello um, whoever so for that the function doesn't have to change for everyone we don't we, we don't know how what names are going to come up right we, when people people might have a different name and you could try to list down all the names but there may be a new name uh, someone has so the way computers deal with that is something called parameterization and the way that happens is i'll just do it first and then you'll understand it so this function we can take a name and then we can use that name uh, one second hello dollar name so we can use that name to print our uh, to print uh, the message so what this essentially does is uh, it will say hello and then here it will substitute whatever the value we pass in to this function so uh, i'll just demonstrate uh, how that is um, imagine here uh, okay, so now when we are calling this function we have to also pass the name right so uh, let's say for now we're going to hard code the name we're going to say name is user okay and uh, now we're going to run this program what happens is it says hello user welcome to this program so what what's happened here it, it ran welcome so in welcome what it did is it ran greet user uh, so greet takes a, a name and prints hello and that name so here when since we said greet user uh, it'll say hello user that's how um, parameterization works now this uh, user we could have passed here as well in the sense name and then we just pass that name to the greet so let's now we can pass that here so see 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 what i did instead of uh, calling welcome just like that i made welcome take a name and then pass that name to greet and then greet will use that name to print now uh, welcome uh, let's make this command line user okay and let's run this hello command line user welcome to this program so that's what uh, uh, that's what parameterization does now we're gonna go one step uh, further what we're gonna do is this time we won't uh, pass something from the, the the command line what we'll do is mm, I mean uh, from the welcome call we will say uh, welcome to do welcome what you have to do is um, you need to have a name and that name you get from command line okay and then greet people with that name so now we need to define the function get from command line uh, get from command line is a function which will read the uh, message from the command line now there is a bit of technicality required here we need to figure out how um, read from command line in node how to read from command line in node and uh, there is an article so it says you can use something called process dot argv and uh, get the command line argument so um, this may sound complicated but I'm just gonna write this this way return process dot argv 
the second uh, ARGB. Now let me run this once and show you the magic then we'll explain how it works. So I'm going to say node greeter.js and also say a name Akshay. See it took that Akshay and it ran hello Akshay and welcome to this program. Now let's see how that is done. Um, so as you can see here uh, the first uh, uh, I mean the computer remembers okay when you say welcome I have to say take name from get from command line greet name and print welcome message and then um, this is how I get from command line this is how I greet this is how I print welcome message and then saying welcome at this point the computer will go back up and uh, remember okay what what was welcome supposed to mean okay welcome I have to first get name is name I have to put name as whatever I get from this function so what does get from command line do it will return it will return to this what process dot argument second argument so what we just saw here is that um, um, process dot argument will pass uh, the command I ran and the script location I ran and then the arguments uh, that I passed in a list so this is what uh, what this is doing is that it's taking that second so 0 1 2 it's taking this 2 index and returning it so this is what that does is and then it's passed to the name and then printing the welcome message so what we have essentially built is we have built an interactive command line program uh, which will run um, so this is interesting I, I did I forgot to pass the uh, name and then it said hello undefined so <laughs> where did it get this undefined from so uh, the reason why that happened is because um, when uh, when something is uh, not available in node uh, in JavaScript uh, it will it will make it something called undefined undefined is a special kind of object and uh, we passed so this one would say return process argument 2 but then there is no second argument so uh, it will pass undefined and then name will become undefined and then it's saying greet name which is un greet undefined so it will just print undefined uh, uh, it's slightly complicated that way but let's let's uh, let's uh, do this let's instead of returning uh, directly process dot v what we'll do is uh, we will see if it's undefined and if it's undefined we'll def uh, return a uh, default uh, name something like user or something like that so for that what we'll have to do is um, so um, let's uh, let's change this a bit let's say name is uh, get name okay and uh, what get name does is um, so function first uh, what we'll do is um, const uh, default name is uh, user if no name is specified we'll use that i'll tell you how we'll use that and then um, constant specified name is uh, get from command line okay um, if a specified name not equals undefined I don't know if this will work uh, undefined may not be equal then return specified name okay else uh, return default name that's what we'll do mm -hmm. 
uh, this may not work but let's do uh, nevertheless try uh, so now we're gonna run the same thing okay so it worked so what it did is uh, I didn't pass a name so it printed hello user now let's try passing a name um, let's uh, pass Ajay it says hello Ajay welcome to this program so if I pass something it'll use that name if I didn't pass something it'll use hello user so let's uh, see it again and see how it gets executed first uh, it, it says name is uh, whatever you get from get name now get name has a default name and then a specified name so specified name is what it gets from the command line just like in the past but uh, uh, it will check it will check if specified name is not defined or if specified name is uh, defined and it's saying is, is not equal to undefined then return that specified name otherwise return the default name so this then passes so if uh, uh, in the processor dot argument we didn't uh, specify a name it would become undefined so uh, this wouldn't get executed this would get so uh, we can actually write this in a more uh, um, let's think of it can I uh, so so yes uh, I can do this constant uh, name is specified no a name is not specified is equal to specified name is defined or I can just uh, put it here it's a, if specified name is undefined I have to say return default name otherwise return specified name right that's another way to write it let's try running it and see if it works not yeah it works so essentially this uh, this is a logic we've introduced now we're saying if a specified name is undefined uh, return this default name otherwise which means specified name is defined return the specified name uh, I think uh, this uh, demonstrates uh, the very basics of uh, control flow in programming and things like that. But it's it I've uh, I've tried to include a lot of uh, very uh, useful patterns. What I've uh, shown here is abstractions and uh, functional f uh, dividing uh, program into small small functions and. Uh, things like that so these are these are all uh, and uh, possibly meaningful names uh, uh, these are all uh, principles of programming where uh, which come really useful uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that uh, if you have questions comments uh, please reach out to me or put as a comment or something like that well probably make a lot of these videos coming forward